Hey guys, it's Francisco Ricardo. I'm sorry that I haven't had an opportunity to meet everyone. I do work in a different field. I'm a lot of times in California working in radio and in film and doing documentaries. And I just wanted to give this to everyone who uh, didn't have a chance to see all the things that we got to see. I'm sure you saw weird people walking around with cameras, and this is usually the way we work with documentaries. But I wanted to sort of say that while people look like Martian mermaids practically out of the water, for for me at least, I never had understood how profound and important this sport is to everyone on so many levels, the discipline, the love, the support. And I just wanted to give this to everyone. If you want a DVD copy of this uh, at any point, just let us know. But in any case, this is for you guys and for uh, Bill Becklin, who I think is a enormous hero, just extraordinary. So with much love, I hope you enjoy it.
watch out for Martian mermaids.
for the first time by a couple of feet and our coxswain Bill Beckling uh, started chanting, you're going to win, you're going to win. The United States crew is at the top. Canada at the bottom is second. Australia between them third. Sweden fourth and last. the finish it is the United States first, Canada second, Australia third. I think the, the first feeling that we had was a great feeling of relief that uh, the race was over and we had been able to do the job that, that we'd set out and been sent down to Australia to do. Two stories, what a coxswain should never say, and the best coxswain call I've ever heard in 60 years of being in this sport. Do we not go faster, but maintain the pressure that you build up those five, those five strokes, and maintain that for five, ten more strokes, right? So we have the boat gliding down, and then somewhere along the way I'll call 20s and 10s, length and power times. So we were just talking about the fact that the cox can have a big psychological impact. We can have get the boat moving. Then we're going to take five to build. So you take five more to build up. One, two, three, four, five. The pressure should increase. If you guys are just moving along with the boat, we're not moving anywhere. We're going to be the boat, we're just like at the end. In particular, what he says can make a big difference. We have the boat gliding down, and then somewhere along the way, I'll call it 20s and 10s, length and power times. When I say power, there's nothing more lovely than a coxswain in the field. The boat just zooms off as soon as you say power times. Full slide, you're going all the way and pushing in. Three quarters, you're going. The one you should never say was my freshman year at Yale. Harvard was undefeated. We had not won a race. And we went up to Gales Ferry for the Harvard Yale race. And we finally put together a combination that was pretty fast. In fact, four of the guys out of the freshman crew ended up on the Olympic crew one year later. So uh, we figured that at the Harvard race, Harvard would get a jump on the start. And about a half mile out, we'd challenge for the lead with the power 10. Went just like that. They got a lead about a length, and I called for a power 10. We started to go by them, and the Harvard coxswain said, and you could hear the coxswain's talk, of course, the Harvard coxswain said, oh no, don't let them pass us. Next four strokes, we took a half a length. It was all over. <laughs> Never. That destroyed, totally destroyed the psychology of this crew. If you try it and you lose, I don't think anyone in the boat should feel like they Next story, also a Harvard Yale race. I believe it was in like 1999, thereabouts. That's a four mile race, long race. Harvard and Yale are bow ball to bow ball the whole way down the race. About a mile to go, the Harvard coxswain. And Harry Parker is a name everybody knows, a legendary Harvard coach. The Harvard coxswain yells to his crew. All right, guys, let's win this one for Harry. Making me feel like fooling me that we were working hard, and that's when I would like feel like the kind of And the Yale coxswain, where this ever came from, no one will ever know, basically said, fuck Harry, let's win this one for ourselves. Four strokes was all over. And you can understand the burst of adrenaline in the Yale guys from the Cox and Call. Just boom. So they can make a big difference.
Christmas Eve, I saw a lot of really awesome, uh, awesome races today. I saw a lot of really passionate kids trying their best in a race that uh, was canceled, was, was <laughs> moved around. You know, we dealt with things on the dock, off the dock, launch boost once, twice, and three times. Um, I saw people that weren't able to race still do some 20s down the course. I what? saw people. What? 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 The race? We raced them. We raced them. That was a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I saw kids not give up. Um, and uh, for a lot of us, this is the end of our season. And let me be one of the first people to say that I am really proud of the incredible organization uh, such as this one. Yeah, that's right. um, I found myself lucky to be able to see a lot of people go down the classroom. Um, I just want to say that this has been my first year as a head coach and it's been an amazing year and I could not be more proud of how this team has dealt with the challenges we faced of which there have been many and in normal Cambridge fashion of course today had to be another representative of those challenges that we face and as always we have prevailed. Um, I think it's fantastic that every single four, we had eight fours, and everyone raced in the final today, or would have been racing in the final. And for those of you in the varsity fours that didn't get that chance, you did a hell of a good job in the heats today. So I, I don't think there was any bad racing today. I couldn't have asked uh, for any anything more from any of you. There was not a single disappointment in the races that I saw. Um, so fantastic job. I hope you're all as proud of yourselves as we are proud of you. And I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to work with such an amazing group of athletes. We've all worked tremendously hard for the seniors. Um, really sad that you only had this one year with us, um, but I'm really grateful for the legacy that you're leaving behind, the leadership that you've shown, all right? You've, you've demonstrated to the younger athletes what's possible, and I think moving forward to live up to your standards, we're gonna be able to take this team even further. I feel really good at having been able to introduce you to a sport that you will have all your life. You'll never forget this day. Every one of you novice girls has the potential to do something great in the future here with this program. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to, um, to have, be on this side of rowing, and um, I couldn't have asked to have done it with a better group. So thank you. Be very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Very careful. We are going to take all these boats off, all the equipment out of the truck and the trailer. And you have 25 minutes to do it from the time the trailer pulls in. And then I want to be gone, put the trailer away. And once that's done, you can go home. You don't have to rig anything. You just have to get the boat off and into the boat. All right? Next week, there will be rowing at CBC on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to have fun. We're going to rig the singles. We're going to be skull. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. No. It's a good way to, it's a good way to
way to tip the boat. Oh, back where it came from. You know where it was on the rack? I got myself back on the single and I could have run around. But you watch the between England and like uh, the rest of Europe. Oh, the, the English channel. Yeah, just see the English channel. Okay. Alright, just do it, ready? Synchronize your mouth. Ready? One, two, Yo, I'm about to go. 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 I'm about to